Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be doing our daily transparency update as usual. So if you're new here, that just pretty much includes me talking about the portfolio's gains or losses for every single stock market day. I just like to keep it real with you all and show you what's happening with my portfolio and also talk a little bit about the market and specifically Tesla stock since it is 100% of my portfolio. And with this video as well, in addition to just doing those things, I'm going to be talking about a recent purchase that I made with Tesla stock today as well. And full transparency ahead of time, it wasn't a huge purchase or anything like that. It was just a fractional share just some cash that i had to put into this stock because i noticed the dip in tesla stock early on in the day and decided to take advantage of that and i'll go more in depth on that later in this video showing all the details and just explaining some of my justification but anyways as always of course if you enjoy the tesla videos and the transparency please make sure to smash that like button getting right into this one as i stated i made a purchase with tesla stock today and i understand that today wasn't a super big discount but for some reason my gut was just telling me might as well just go ahead and throw some more money into that Roth IRA account because this was around a 3% discount when I bought it. I believe with the portfolio, it was around like this spot right here when I made the purchase. I think it was like $616 per share or somewhere around there. And I made that purchase in my Roth IRA. But just addressing the portfolio before we get into that, we currently have a value of $249,000. $498.29 and in the normal market hours today for Tesla we had a minus 1.82% drop that is minus $4,651.71 and then in the after hours keep in mind after hours are currently closed we're at a standstill right now it's currently 8.03 p.m. for me so just three minutes after the close and we are currently at minus 0.38% which is minus $963.12 and addressing the share price of Tesla stock specifically we are currently at a value of $620 in 60 cents per share regarding the movements for tesla stock today it actually started out pretty close to the baseline at this 9 a.m marker in the pre-market that was at minus 0.33 percent at that point in time and then almost near when the normal market hour started at 9 25 a.m we hit this peak before this downturn and once the normal market hour started at 9 30 a.m we were at minus 0.86 percent and at that point it was kind of on the way down already we had this bounce right here until the lowest point of the day at 10 25 a.m at minus 3.8 86 percent and when i checked the market it was about like i said around this period of time right here somewhere in this 10 30 range and it was at minus 3.05 percent at this point and we had some volatility with a dip right here hit almost near as low as a point as this point right here and that's when we started to see a general incline in the market trend for tesla stock until about this point right here at 2 10 p.m however that was just a slight dip in the meantime the trend continued and then once we hit this 3 p.m marker that's when we started to see a little bit of a downturn towards that last couple of minutes before the market closed and at 3 55 p.m we were at minus 1.62 percent but that's still much better off than where we were around here at almost like minus four percent and in the after hours we saw a little bit of a downturn in a bounce right in this range between 505 and 510 and then it continued back on that normal trend where we are currently at minus 0.38 percent like i said and in regards to the purchase that i made today as i stated in yesterday's video if i saw a notable drop or the share price just going down enough to a point where i feel like there's possibly an opportunity in me buying it then i stated that i would deploy some funds to make a purchase within my roth ira so that's exactly what i did today I know that a minus 4% drop considering the run-up so far isn't anything too significant, but it was still a pretty nice discount considering the recent events. And just addressing the movement for today, I know some people are probably thinking, man, we've had two days in a row for Tesla stock being negative. But even just addressing the past week, we are still up 8.96%. It's important to take note of that because it seems like with yesterday and today, we've had multiple red days in a row. But one thing to take into consideration is that these red days haven't been very significant. Both yesterday and today were only around minus two percent drops which is actually reasonably low for tesla stock when we commonly have days where it's at minus four percent or plus four percent so in total we are still up 8.96 percent over the past week and for the portfolio that is a gain of plus twenty thousand five hundred twenty seven dollars and nineteen cents and then just to address the rest of the time frames while we're at it for the past month we are currently up 39.56 percent that is plus seventy thousand seven hundred twenty four dollars and one cent for the past three months we 
we are up 42.79%. That is plus $74,769.83. For the past year, we are up 142.41%. That is plus $146,573.59. And then finally, for the all time chart, we are at a gain of 143.05%, which is plus $146,846.91. And referencing back to that purchase I was discussing, I'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen so you all can see it. This was a purchase that I made with my Roth IRA account. As a few of you know, I have been wanting to max out this Roth IRA. And if there's a chance where I find some opportunities with Tesla stock taking a notable dip, then I'll just go ahead and try to do that and finish off the rest of those deposits. But as you can see, this says order field. And by the way, this was on Fidelity. And it says order to buy $200 of Tesla, which is 0.324 shares, filled at $616.43. And this order was filled at the time of 10.34 a.m. So that's like exactly around that time period that I was talking about. So we got around a 3% discount and I've already made a gain on this purchase so far today, as we can see with the trend going upwards for the rest of the day. So that's pretty nice. I've already made a gain on this Roth IRA purchase. However, regardless of the direction that the stock would have gone today, I would have been satisfied just because it's a discount and I'm taking advantage of that opportunity. And I really don't mind the short term movements. It's not really relevant to my vision long term with Tesla stock. However, I still like to talk about it just to keep that conversation going. So I decided to make this purchase, even though the drop wasn't anything too crazy. It wasn't like we went under $600, but I didn't want to get way too greedy and try to wait until a huge drop happened and end up being disappointed because I never found the opportunity to make a purchase. So I kind of just took advantage of this little dip that we had today and put around $200 into that. And just to have some transparency on the progress with a Fidelity account for those interested, I currently have a contribution for 2020 of $4,830 in this account, and I have a remaining contribution contribution of $1,170. That used to be $1,370. So I'm slowly dwindling down this contribution number. And it's one of those things where I'm tempted to just take care of it. But at this point in time, I just don't have the cash to do so. And I also just want to prioritize that tax payment first, because that's not something you want to play around with. You have to make sure that is ready to be paid. And with that contribution of $4,830, I currently have a balance in this Roth IRA of $5,898.32. So it's technically almost near that maxed out contribution contribution number, but I've only put in around $4,800. So I've already made around a nice $1,100 profit on this. And this is one of the main reasons why I really like to talk about prioritizing the Roth IRA account, because in the long term, this account will all be tax free gains. Any money that I make out of this will be tax free. I won't have to pay anything on it. Everything in my Roth IRA will be mine to spend. And that's why I love the Roth IRA retirement accounts, because you don't have this opportunity with the account that you're seeing on Robinhood right here. The gains that I get on this account, they're going to be taxed. And that's the main difference between this taxable account and my Roth IRA account and why I want to really make sure that I max it out every year. If anything, I will always prioritize my Roth IRA account over the taxable account because it's just one of those chances where if you go past the deadline, then you don't have the chance anymore to max out the previous year. And that's a huge missed opportunity because you're limited on how much you can actually deposit in that non-taxable long-term account. So my logic with that personally is for me to always make sure to max out the Roth IRA every year because there's really no other opportunity out there like that. And just addressing quickly, possibly some reasoning as to why we saw a sell-off today and comparing that to the rest of the market, we had NASDAQ in the red today, just barely at minus 0.15%. VOO was in the green at plus 0.19%. And then we had some like Amazon, Adobe, Shopify, Microsoft, all in the green today. Shopify actually had a pretty crazy gain around 8%. But just addressing Tesla stock's downward movement for today, I think some of this is potentially due to the expected short-term traders selling off a little bit early before Friday and Monday, just to make sure that they secure those gains. And this is something that I had always been expecting. Really, the days that I've been bullish on mostly this week have been like on on Monday and possibly Friday. I really don't know exactly where Friday could go because it's just a matter of how many retail investors and some institutional investors sell off before we have a lot of these benchmark index fund trackers and some of these fund managers that are probably going to be buying somewhere near that Monday date where the S&P 500 inclusion happens. And they want to get a very similar price to the S&P 500 itself. And I think that's why a lot of them are waiting until Friday or somewhere around that time frame. But in general, I'm not too surprised about the day. And like I said, it's really not that bad of a red day in consideration of some of these short-term retail investors and short-term traders just trying to get some quick money. This was something that I had always expected with Tesla stock. It's something that I've 
really seen over this past year or so. What we're seeing right now is not really a new occurrence. There's always going to be people trying to make some short-term quick money on Tesla, and that's just something that goes along with owning this stock. But if you're someone that's a long-term investor and someone like myself that really doesn't care about the short-term movements, then it doesn't have any effect on my mindset or my vision with the company because I know that nothing fundamentally has changed about the company. It's just the movements regarding supply and demand going in and out each day, depending on some of the news pieces, the decisions people are making, whether they're trying to short-term trade the stock or anything like that. But overall, I view today, as I always like to emphasize, as an opportunity and decided to just pick up a little bit of a fractional share on a discount, which I'm pretty satisfied with. Even if it goes down in the short term over the next couple of weeks or so, and it ends up going lower than my cost basis for this fractional share in my Roth IRA, I'm still not going to be disappointed because I think it will eventually grow over that tremendously in the long term. It's just going to take time, and I have the patience to wait on that. So anyways, please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, and also definitely check out my referral links in the description below to Robinhood and Weeble. With Robinhood, you can get a free stock, and especially with Weeble, you can get four free stocks and total right now two valued up to 250 dollars just for signing up with them over for a link to weeble and then another two valued up to 1600 dollars for depositing 100 dollars into your weeble account and i believe that is expiring near the end of the month so certainly take advantage of that if you don't have a weeble account and as always of course anything that i see or have said in this video is not to be considered financial advice this is me just simply sharing my thoughts and opinions about the stock market and tesla stock and also giving some insight on my experiences and with you all using my referral links as well it greatly helps support the channel which i really appreciate but I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.